What's up everybody, it's your boy Kai, and you guys have been having questions on rental arbitrage and I have the answers. Today, we're gonna to be talking about creative ways to get into rental arbitrage, what is rental arbitrage, and how you guys can start and apply the method today. All right, before we start the video, if you're not a subscriber yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that like button. That way you'll be notified every time I drop a fire video. Let's okay. get it. So what is rental arbitrage and why is there such a demand for it right now? Rental arbitrage is the practice of renting properties and subleasing them on platforms like Airbnb, Verbal, and Booking.com. The goal is to grab a short-term lease and sublease it out as a short-term rental which comes with benefits as we're gonna talk about later on in this video, so stay tuned. Okay, so why is there such a demand for rental arbitrage? Everybody knows it and wants to get in it because they know about the money and et cetera, et cetera. Well, I'm gonna keep it simple for you guys and I'm gonna lay it out. To start rental arbitrage, you don't need great credit. In some situations, you can have one to two months off of free rent, free rent. It takes you less than two weeks to finish Cash flows immediately, and you can go from one to five within a couple of months. So I think that's, yeah, that's enough. But if you want to know how to get into rental arbitrage, I'm about to get ready to give you guys the steps to apply today. Even if you're a beginner and you don't know anything about this industry, I'm going to give you a jump start to where you need to be. Okay, guys, like I said, we're taking a long-term property and subleasing it out as a short-term rental. Now, we're going to do these with apartments and houses, but I'm going to give you guys how we do it exactly with apartments and how you guys can do it with houses also, and a little bit of benefits that come with it that you guys can use. Okay, so apartments. Everybody has apartments within their local area that offer something that's called corporate leasing. First, before we start with a corporate lease, I want to rewind a little bit and say that you do have to have documents ready for this apartment. You have to have an LLC and you also have to have cash flowing through this LLC. Not too much. And also, if you have a personal job and you have an LLC, you can still push those personal funds through that LLC and it'll count as your business funds. Guys who don't know what an LLC is and wanna know more about it and how to file it within 15 minutes, I have a video on my channel for that. So you guys can go to that and come back to this video. Okay, so our goal is to find these apartments that offer corporate leasing. Once you find the apartment that offers it, you want to A, schedule an appointment. Once you get there, you want to give them a pitch on what benefits come with this short-term business. Now, of course, you want to do a, a, a little bit of looking around the property and talking to the agent a little bit to get to know them a little bit better because this is who you're going to be signing the lease with. Now, what are some of the benefits you guys can offer just starting out with your Airbnb business or just trying to get your first property? Well, first of all, you have to think about this in a area like this of Texas where apartments are being built by the day these apartments are not able to immediately get filled. So that means they have a lot of units inside the apartments when they first build them that are not filled. So that means the investor that has the apartment immediately wants cash flow inside of the apartment. And in able to do that, majority of the units have to be filled. So they usually wanna get cash flow immediately as possible. Once the apartment is built up, and it's ready to go, they want to get people in as, much, as fast as possible. Now, this also applies for apartments that are already built. They can have situations such as a massive eviction where they have a lot of units open and they're doing an incentive, which you guys will talk about a little bit in the video. They have incentives that invites people to come up in the units. Now, when you locate in your unit, you really want to kind of shoot out the, these type of properties. You want to shoot out the properties that's given the incentives of first month's free rent or half month's free rent because it'll give you a cushion to get in your first property. These corporate leases are way easier to get in. They're way easier to negotiate simply because you're solving a problem for them and they're solving a problem for you. And remember, when you're talking to the leasing agent, you don't want to use Airbnb name too much simply because it scares a lot of them away. You want to carry yourself as much as a housing company. 
what exactly is a housing company well a housing company I want you guys to just image this real quick you have a big firm of tra uh, you have a big firm of uh, travel nurses right and these travel nurses have to let's say a, a storm goes off or something major happens these travel nurses and it's going to be a bunch of them right these travel nurses all have to find a place to stay for about five months five to six months so when that happens usually a housing company is involved they will get those travel nurses and find them a location to have for six months but what they do is the same thing we're applying they go to the apartments let them know hey listen we have this amount of fleet of of travel nurses that need to stay here this amount alone and they get the lease for a short time the only thing that we do different is that we get a long-term lease we don't short term our property out for six months like they did we're doing more like a one year to three year lease with these apartments this is also beneficial considering that we're taking up the unit we're taking up the unit for a long amount of time so they don't have to worry about and this is if you sign a three-year lease they don't have to worry about a turnover rate of somebody constantly moving out the property and then restoring it and restoring it so that's definitely a beneficial way of approaching it okay so now that we got off apartments let's go ahead and touch on houses now a lot of people wonder in this industry of rental arbitrage how does somebody multiply so many properties and they don't even own a single one it's simple people have a problem you have a solution to it you also have a problem because you have a need to have a short-term property these people that we're about to get ready to start talking about are people that are having problems with their property and it's not major problems such as you have to fix thousand dollars worth of stuff inside the house or anything like that we're talking about problems more like vacancy mortgage payment and other things now the goal into getting into the house is you want to look for motivated landlords and motivated homeowners you might say what do you mean by motivated landlords and homeowners well these people are going to be in situations and what I mean by situations I mean such as they can't afford their mortgage anymore so they bought a home and they can no longer afford the mortgage so the house is about a year to be foreclosed also situations with divorce where people have been living in the house for about 15 years and they end up getting divorced and they just no longer want to be in the house they want to be separate so the house is vacant you also have properties that just sit they're just vacant people bought the property or they probably paid it off and just have it sitting because you know they're off chilling in Miami or something but for whatever reason they don't have anybody in the property they're they they live somewhere else and they just you know they just have it sitting so this is also why I say creative financing comes in because some of these people are in distressful situations and like I said it's not about them having a problem but it's more of you solving that problem and they also solving yours at the same time because you can have somebody that's not able to continue on with their mortgage payments and you offer them a three-year lease and pay off that mortgage uh, payment for three years so you're long-terming you're long-terming the lease and then subleasing it out on a short-term property like Airbnb verbal or booking.com you also have people that just love massive equity on the house so in able to get equity the house has to sit for a while with a tenant in it so let's go over this okay so the people that like to hold their house and let the equity grow over year over year over year as they own the home we can also be beneficial to those people too let's do an area that has massive cash flow but doesn't have as much appreciation over the years let's take it as to start with Tennessee okay if one of these owners that love to hold their property to watch the appreciation grow let's say that they bought a two hundred thousand dollar house in Tennessee the regular appreciation so the equity that grows in the house over a year span in Tennessee is three percent now three percent of two hundred thousand is six thousand dollars you take that on another year that's gonna be twelve thousand dollars so that means if this person continues year after year he's gonna be getting six thousand dollars up on his money now where we come in at is the play part okay like I said he bought the property 
He bought the property with the intentions of selling it after a while or doing whatever he was going to do with it once the equity grows on it. But once he buys the house, he needs a tenant inside. Now, with the tenant inside, he doesn't have to pay this monthly mortgage. And that's the part we will call the people and get a long-term lease sign with these people because they will be beneficial for them. The best people you're going to usually find are the people that are having struggle with their mortgages because you'll be able to work out a more creative way of getting into your first property. Some of these people let you get in zero down, let you get in first month's, second month's free rent. You know, so you have in cases like that to where it's beneficial. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed those tips. If you want to know more on rental arbitrage, on how to get in the industry, what to say to these people and how to locate them, definitely click on the link below. I have a free master course now inside of this ebook. You guys go check that link out below. And if you're not a subscriber yet, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And make sure you show some love to that shirt button. It's Kylie Gibson, and we're out.